If her body language didn't express her disbelief... It's paid for. <laughs> it exists. Royal Commissioner Catherine Holmes's words did. It's like a child putting its hands over its eyes and thinking you can't see it. She was describing a government department practice of leaving external legal advice in draft form if it was deemed to be unfavourable. From the witness stand, government lawyer Lisa Keeling explained why. It could be that the advice is not helpful and it's better to be left in draft form. So what do you mean by not helpful and better to be left in draft form? It may suggest that there's more legal risk to a program than um, I think the, the department, the client might be wanting to accept. Ms Keeling drafted a report into what legal advice the Department of Social Services sought before the coalition government's unlawful robo-debt scheme began. Her review identified internal legal advice against its methodology in 2014. The document further noted the advice was not passed on to the Department of Human Services, which had put forward the scheme. Ms Keeling's report was handed to management, but remained a draft. Was a final of the report ever required? No. The Commission has heard a similar example of when the Department sought advice in 2018 from a prominent law firm. It found robo-debt was not legally sustainable, but that guidance was never converted beyond draft form. What's the consequence if the advice is then finalised? Well, it's usually something then that would need to be escalated and relied on. Advice that could have short-circuited robo-debt. Alexander Lewis, ABC News, Brisbane.